This is the biannual process of setting up open mic night. Oh, this, it's a this, video. Is, this is our um, head editor. What do you call it? Editor in chief? Yeah. Harper Wilkins. Yeah. Right now, all kinds of sound checks are going on. Connected to a corruption, relaying money to a savage dog. Beep beep. Sh. Beep beep. Sh. Customers pile in, merging their anger into one lonely light above my register. Beep beep. Sh. Paper or plastic, sir? Back my groceries and greed, kid. Beep beep. Sh. Beep beep. Sh. Fed up with a strict and lenient paradox. Beep beep. Sh. Heartfelt seniors saving their money and shopping deals on their fixed income, while EBTs allow fresh lobster and chicken cordon expensive. Beep beep sh. Beep beep sh. Cutting hours and slash slashing positions. Customers are greater than single mothers, says executive business. Beep beep sh. Beep beep sh. Click. Your total is one hundred sixteen dollars and twenty seven cents. Would you like to pay with American sacrifices you gained through being alive? Or perhaps through car carrying over expenditures. Maybe even the tears of debtors who don't know what a budget feels like. I have cash stolen from unsuspecting, unsuspecting citizens. Accept it, kiddo. Thank you, sir. You saved an incongruent amount of money, and you have gained some promotional item that expires in an hour. Now who's next? Beep beep. Shh. Beep beep. Wednesday is National Eat a Pickle Day, so it's a good day. Really celebration. And I wrote this poem in my creative writing class, and it's about my favorite food. So here we go. It's called Ode to Pickles. <laughs> there is one thing I like to eat. It is not dairy, bread, fruit, or meat. Some people are pretty fickle on whether or not they like pickles. Pickles, they yell in disgust, but I say it's Clausen's hearty garlic or bust. For this, many call me strange and weird, but hey, at least I don't have a beard. <laughs> Pickles are tasty and fantastic. I love the crisp sound when I bite into a Vlasic. Gherkins, dill, bread and butter, I love pickles like no other. Good evening, everyone. This is going out to all the musical people, especially those who I will not be sharing a stage with next year. Aww. Aww. I, think you all, I think you all know this song. <laughs> Thank you. 
mind, I only know too well how I react when you're not here. You're so sweet and comfortable, a face I've known so long. As natural as respiration, that I should fall to you. Make the city's name burn my throat. Block my view of the steeple as we sing the same covers. Have my home, my religion, my voice. Say it slowly, love. 76, 76. Days I will still know you. Days before I'm gone. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, I'm going to play three songs tonight. And the first one is a Katy Perry cover. Yes! <laughs> yes! She's happy. Um, yeah, and I'm going with Courtney. I got her tickets for her birthday to go see her in June. So, this is Thinking of You. Not quite as short. Uh, it's entitled California Weather, which is not not very uh, related here because it's pouring outside, but I'm going to read it anyway. Her white, bold body rests on the crowded beach. 
working on a luxurious tan after a long winter's feast. Hoping to find a man, one worth her dreams, love everlasting and traditional means. Right out of a movie scene emerges a strong young lad, one of bulging muscles and that precious six-pack abs. Your quick anticipation rises as you show a smile. Only disappointment comes as he walks on for miles. So you flip around as if to burn your own heart and see yet another, one who may play a part. Not that movie star for your Hollywood wedding, but an undiscovered talent for some vital heart mending. He places his towel beside, is this spot taken? You think and respond, it's your fate that you're making. And so he did, while confidence guided, talking for, for hours, little that she hided. So the years have passed, kids and lives together. What a day on the beach in the California weather. Um, this poem is called, and I hope I remember it, um, To Untitled. I once was told not to write. You wouldn't know that I write because I keep my words hidden as if I'm afraid of my thoughts, my feelings. Afraid of the bond that once held you and me, paper and pen. You didn't take just a leaf out of my book. You tore down the whole tree, ripped me of the bark that defines me, leaving me bare, a dead maiden of winter, a skeleton with no name. You have untitled me. This poem's called uh, Bike Night. People gather here for movie night where people sign up to be in the spotlight. They say what they think and they mean what they say. And at open, night, at open mic night, we wouldn't have it any other way. This poem's called Pachanga. Oh, I can move closer. And uh, Pachanga is like a friend who you used to be close to and you aren't close to anymore. She said I have a lot to say. It means more that you think of me every day. And I know it's cliche to say this is cliche. And now you've heard me twice. Sound like everybody else. In back rooms and back alleys. Through back streets. To the heart of the city. Where enemies and monsters meet. Wearing stylish gladiators because they're afraid to dirty their feet. But things are clearer once you've walked in the mud. And you let the strangers go. And you held your best friend close. Pachanga overdose. Cause nobody wants to be the last one left Everyone wants to feel like someone cares Someone to love with my life in their hands It's gotta be somebody for me like that Cause nobody wants to do it on their own Everyone wants to know they're not alone Somebody else who feels the same somewhere it's gotta be somebody for me out there. It's called Stenter. My soul was electrified. Such spirits don't subside. Projections and collections. Confections of subjections. Mean nothing, know nothing. Heart jumping, always something. I'm a Stenter, and I've got something to say. I'm a Stenter, and it's my voice you crave. When it reads ten, you beckon me to your row. Your all caps letters make words that flow. Pools of ink are pouring from your pen, and slowly but surely, words form within. Stress thoughts take shape upon your perfect shank. I'll massage them away, because I make think. Explanations and words beyond me. Something about balancing chemistry. I don't really care because you're holding my hand. The clock's at two minutes. I have to get out of the stands. The rest of the game doesn't really matter. We'll say goodbye when my stock gets gathered. It's another morning, and you're telling me, how to answer questions about my personality. I'm a center, you see it. Your eyes fill with stars. My voice carries loud, my voice carries far. And boy, you shake, you're quite alarmed. For me, you take down your hindrance and bars. You're a subtle obstruction and you don't see your flaw. And boy, you don't know it, but you have me enthralled. Attraction and distraction, a fraction of action. Before I was a stenter and my throat was a lump. I'm over that now, but I tend to just triple on the same stump. As I trundle along these halls, I'm curious why I always fall. That's it. And then... All right, well, thank you everyone for coming. It's been an awesome night. So many good people. So many good people. Everyone up here was amazing. Uh,